board. Next, we go to the eastern Kenyan town of Isiolo. They just hosted the Desert Wheel Race. It's a marathon race where all the contestants are in wheelchairs. The event is meant to raise awareness about people living with disabilities, especially in nomadic communities. The BBC's Victor Kanani reports. Yes. Wheelchair racers, most of them from different pastoral communities in Kenya, gather at the starting line. This race bringing together men and women with varying forms of physical disabilities. While some were born with disabilities, others sustained lifelong injuries from accidents and illnesses. 17-year-old Lea Lesila had her leg amputated after suffering from cancer. Like other participants, Lesila is determined to conquer the winding 24-kilometer course. She agreed, pushing her own, one hand pedal at a time. Yeah, I came to show Kenya that disability, it is not inability. We can do what other people do. We can race like all other people. It's a neck and neck competition in the race to the finish line. The racers sweat to victory amidst cheers from the spectators. During the 2016 Africa Disability Summit in Niger, Kenya was ranked first in Africa in the implementation of policies aimed at improving the welfare of people living with disabilities. However, organizers of this event say that pastoral communities lag behind. I can say as a, a country, we have made some strides, but we are not yet there. But uh, in the past, it has been very difficult for us as personal disabilities. In fact, uh, in, in Kenya, in the past, a person with disability, once he is born, they are considered as a curse. And birth attenders are given specific instruction to kill them at birth. More than 100 men and women living with disabilities have participated in today's race. They have braved the scorching sun and now the rain in a show of defiance against societal stigma. In the end, winners including Lasile, who had finished at position three in the women's race, received prize money and trophies. The organizers hope that this wheelchair race will cross borders and become a national or even an international event. Victor Kenani, BBC News.